Thanks, Kent. Well, convicted of murder at just 15 years old, now nearly 15 years later, John Silva could be resentenced. In 2001, Silva was sentenced to life in prison without parole for strangling 12-year-old Jerry Allen Jr. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum spoke with Ali's brother about Silva potentially being resentenced. Ashley's joining us. Ashley, tell us what's happening in the court system right now. This is video of John Silva back in 2001 when all this happened. And this is a current mugshot of him, about 31 years old now. He's been in jail with life without parole for his sentence originally. Now his attorney has filed a status hearing for this case on February 5th. And now that victim's family is just worried, worried that Silva could possibly walk out of prison. He did an extremely personal type of killing. He hogtied my brother and he strangled him to death. To refresh your memory on this case, here's what happened back in May 2000 in Putnam County. 15-year-old John Silva was sentenced to life in prison without parole for strangling 12-year-old Jerry Alley Jr. and dumping Alley's body in a dry septic tank. Silva showed no reaction to the sentence and was tried as an adult and convicted of first-degree murder. Prosecutors called the murder grotesque and methodical in opening arguments. Evidence against him included a note found with Alley's body reading, Strip to underwear tie up hands, gag, and cover eyes. Investigators say it was written by Silva, who was a neighbor and schoolmate of Allie in Interlaken. Police say Silva admitted to killing Allie. In 2001, the assistant state attorney Gary Wood said he thought Silva would kill again if he were ever freed from prison. Allie's brother agrees. You have no doubt in your mind that he would do this again? No doubt. My safety is actually concerned. That's how and that's how much worry I have about this. The Supreme Court in 2012 ruled all juveniles who were sentenced as an adult need to be resentenced under the new statute that makes it a minimum of 40 years to maximum of life. So Silva could still get a life sentence, but he would need to be resentenced and would have the possibility of parole, something Ali says Silva doesn't deserve. What did you think he deserved? No, I always believe, you know, believed in capital punishment for a crime that devastating. Silva is one of dozens of people in Florida tried as an adult who could be resentenced. If he gets out, that's going to be a living nightmare. If any of the other kids that committed these crimes gets out, it's going to be even more of a nightmare. The status hearing is set for February 5th. I reached out to the state attorney's office to find out exactly what's going to be discussed at that hearing, but we have not heard back yet. Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ashley, thanks.